Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy CV with another reaction video. I've been doing some comedy, so this one popped up on my timeline. It says best and funniest local news interviews of all time. There's quite a few of them out there. I do remember some. I think, I don't know if you guys remember the dude named Charles, where uh, the girls was like kidnapped and they were in a basement for a certain amount of years. And then he, and when they interviewed him, he's like, you know, when a white girl runs to a black man's hand, something ain't right. <laughs> to me, that was. Charles is the most hilarious thing that I've seen, man. I, it was just so genuine. It was, you know, it was live on TV. And yeah, I thought that was probably the best I've ever seen. What about the other one? Uh, uh, the dude that says hi, joke, why for something like that. Those are the ones that I remember. Oh, the one that got a bee or a fly flew in his mouth. And he was so pissed while he was uh, covering the news. Anyways. Let's just get this 250 likes if we can't. Appreciate you guys, man. Let's do it. Best and funniest local news interviews. I'm pretty sure there's quite a few that I that I saw that I just can't remember. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome this. face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. <laughs> All right. You're good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry I had to stop it right away. When I used to stream on Twitch, they used to say this to me all the time. I like turtles, and I had no clue what what the hell they were talking about. I don't know if it's from this. I'm pretty sure it's from this. But, yeah, they used to say I like turtles, and I had no clue why they were saying it to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Turtles. All right. You're but, looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. Uh, what do you think? I like turtles. <laughs> All right, you're great zombie and good times here at the she Waterfront even, Village. What did you think about the ride? Oh, it I remember was this great. kid. My great. grandpa. I've never been on live yeah. television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news. This kid's because great. I'm a kid, and apparently every time apparently, apparently my grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the ride. What did you think about the ride? Well, apparently. Why? Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. the slowest stews get dizzy. Is it fun? Yeah. Uh. And I've never, ever been on live television. I never, ever be on live television. Are you excited? Yeah, apparently. apparently I only went down the super slide. When I went down the wall, I was scared half to death. <laughs> Yo, kids are great, I man. I just freak out. <laughs> freak. Harry's screaming. I meet my man. There it is, man. That's my guy right there. This is the best thing I've seen on TV in a long time, man. McDonald's. I, I just back. freak out. Did McDonald's Harry's give him? screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of a house. So I go on the porch. Okay. I go on the porch and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. And like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got, you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Because we see this dude every day. Every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up from? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music. You see where I'm coming from? Jeez. And you had no indication that there was not anything egg, going on? bro, not a clue. What was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. <laughs> something is wrong here. Dad, give it away. Bro, I don't know if you guys saw the song, but please look up the song. I think it's called Dead Giveaway. Dead Giveaway. Bro, it is the most hilarious thing. I've ever heard in my life, man. What was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be bro, around. People. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there. Man, uh, them jokers was big. Uh, size of a quarter dog on. Many what? said it sounded like <laughs> nothing they've ever heard before. He said, Kapooya, Kapooya! <laughs> and your boy that hell just came in. I oh looked my God, I can't my, breathe, bro. Opened my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took off running, ran to my restroom and then I called my mama to see what she all right. 
Folks were told to stay off roadways yeah, unless absolutely, that made no positively sense. necessary. But they still oh. came out to places like the Circle K gas station. I they still donut. played it. I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whenever it is everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid yeah. pass out on my floor. People wanted to finally left. I didn't make this kid huh? pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. That was their decision. Oh, what? bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoopah! Drop down. <laughs> Yo, what is he on? Whatever he's on, he is loving the water. He's loving life. He said, kapow. Best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get this spit man's loving right life. Out of him. And you just drop kapow. in and just smack the lip. Whoopah. Drop down. Snap. Bah. And then after that, you just drop in. You just ride the barrel and get pitted. So pitted like that. Oh. Surveillance tape oh is catching God. a routine morning at this gas station on Bannister until chaos erupts. I was putting one more tap of coffee in my coffee cup, and out of the corner of my eyes, I saw two guys come in, one with a black hoodie and one with a white hoodie. And the guy with the black hoodie said, we want your money, everybody up front and down. And I'm like, oh, oh why did I need coffee now? The guy in the black starts coming down, and I'm like, don't look, don't look, don't look. So I'm putting my hair down, you know, and he comes right to me, and he goes, get down now. And I go, yes, sir. And I just dropped to my knees. Then I heard, Boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh my God. So I back farther and farther away. And I think maybe I should faint, but I don't. And so then I'm thinking, count to 2000 again. So I did. And then I go, me amigos, me amigos. Nobody said nothing. I'm like, oh my God, they're dead. Can I ask you if you want. Uh, yo, that was serious situation because they had guns and shooting. But it's. <laughs> she said, why did I need coffee now? <laughs> On all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay. That's not good. Hey, that's real. What? Hey. I mean, you you ask a real one, he gonna give you a real answer. <laughs> Hookers and cocaine, bro. <laughs> we were hoping for a different answer. That's nah, probably that's not real. the answer that we're looking for. I just kept hearing it. I'm ducking and everything. Died in the house. I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Did you really... made that dude drop a hot pocket he probably didn't even get a chance to eat it but that's messy <laughs> he said i dropped my hot pocket <laughs> by the way hot pocket i used to eat that back in the day man you put that in the microwave two minutes uh but i like the one that um it comes with a sleeve you put the hot pocket inside and then you hold the sleeve and then you can eat it that way yeah i'm just saying that we're he looking for. I I just kept hearing it. I he's gotta be from down south he's got her in it I'm ducking and everything. Died in the house. I'm. I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Did you really snatch an 86-year-old woman's purse? She wants to hurt me, and the bitch don't even know me. At Let 86 years old, Let Bernice Starts is full of spunk. She's traveled the world, Let know, seen Bernice. a lot, but never the anything bee, you like don't know this. Me. I hope that they beat her. Some of the women in prison beat her every day. But long as she's in there. Yeah, I'm with you. Some people might say that's hard. Today, ah. Rossi's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. 110, Are you huh? excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. You know, you know, they said kids tell you the truth and drunk people tell you the truth. But I think older folks will tell you the truth, too. So, yeah, man, you ask a real one, they'll, they'll give you a real answer. You saw Bernie. She's like, I hope she gets beat up in prison. Going to be coming out here to throw you a oh, big man. birthday party. Are you excited for your party? She's like, I'm 110. Not one bit. <laughs> Dave Rowe knows all too well how it feels to have his home broken into. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. Because I heard him first. I said, hold on. I said, Hold up, wait a minute, <laughs> something ain't right. Cause then I start to taste them. I say, and then I start to smell. Man, his spider senses is just, his spider sense was going off. He's a real spider man. He was like, ding, ding, ding. He said, I tasted him.
smell them. So it's like a smell that tastes like other. So I knew something was wrong. I knew something special about it. You know? So So what did you do when you heard the intruder? I ran upstairs. I had to run. And I had to do what that little girl, what's that little girl uh in the Holocaust? She had a uh she was Ann Hathaway, Aunt Frank Frank and Beverly. Ann Frank, that's a hiding bitch, ain't it? Frank and Beverly. Ann Frank, that's a hiding who he said Anne Hathaway. It's Anne Frank. But what did he say? She's what? Bitch, ain't it? I had to get up the stairs. So Yeah, there's no way they let this go on TV. There's no way. I feel like this is a joke. Like this this overlay is just like fake. This this can't be real. Hathaway and Frank Frank and Beverly. Anne Frank, that's a hiding bitch, ain't it? I had to get up the stairs. So he had so much rhythm. When he was walking up, he said, doom, doom, doom. <laughs> Bro, this is not real. I almost beatbox up in the closet. Oh, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. This but is not real. But I couldn't do it yet because I couldn't is not die. Real. I got caught tomorrow. So I'm just a little. <laughs> he said, he said I couldn't die because I got caught tomorrow. <laughs> boom. But I couldn't do it yet because I couldn't die. I got caught tomorrow. No. Nah, so. This I'm just fake. a little shook up. That's all that is. And then the 4th of July. Here's no. the actual customer out here. Uh, what's uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Damn. Put the glasses on. Drop the mic. Jesus. Where are your parents? Kid's sketchy. Back to you guys. <laughs> this kid is sketchy. Straight up, though, that kid seemed kind of weird. KHOU, just wondering, what, uh, what is it like seeing this right now? Jeez, you tell me. <laughs> Gotta um, pay attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. All right, Dennis, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pretty tough way to walk a dog, isn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Very inconvenient for anybody. <laughs> it's got to be done, though, right? Yeah, it does. I don't want to pee in all over the house. I gotta clean it up. You have something to say? I can see you're oh chomping at the bit God. there, young man. What, what's, what's on your mind? Um, I was wondering how. I didn't really see you on TV that much. So you didn't see me on TV that much? Nope. They probably had that Rod Hill guy on more than me. Did you notice that? No. Um, Ooh, shots. The Brown, the Lester Holt. Lester Holt? Was, was Lester Holt a part of this morning's coverage? Did, was no, I usually he see him more on the news Damn, than you. Damn, bruh. <laughs> Damn, bruh. He, he's thinking about his career. He's Jesus Christ. And then he walked away. And this man's just looking at him like, now that I think about it, you're right. <laughs> Question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, I remember for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting, shifting sands in the region. The lady the takes care of the North kids. She's fired. Um, I would be surprised if they do. Bro, how does she let this baby get in there? He's just rocking and rolling on that thing. She's fired. I remember watching this, though. <laughs> the, um, Look how she comes in. <laughs> That's part of my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What is this going to be for the region? How can he answer question after that? What is this going to be for the region? <laughs> my apologies. North. Uh, sorry. Shut the door. <laughs> Look, um, she's North crawling. Korea, North. Uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. All right, so I don't advise uh, this to walk across the middle of the street, but there's no... Oh, wait, this dude... Oh, no, I thought I knew him. I thought he was local here to Boston. I, he looks familiar. Nobody coming. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? I'm loving it. You I'm love this stuff? Huh? I'm loving it. Where are you from? Pennsylvania recently. So finally we got a little snow. Yeah. This is awesome. Yes, I never got to see it when I was locked up earlier this year. <laughs> What's your name? Paul Willis. So you're out in the fresh air. Yes, I am. I love it. How much more do you... Hey, that man's in... Yo, he's loving the freedom, man. He's like, I'm out. I was in for a year. I'm loving the freedom.
You want a lot of snow? Oh, no more. No more snow. No more. <laughs> All right. Have you shoveled yet? No. Are you going to shovel? No. Why not? Because I don't live in this county. I live in PG. <laughs> Come and get everything right. Say so your first and last name, please. You let me know when you're ready now. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, say and spell your first and last name, please. What you want me to start off? Say and spell your first and last name, please. <laughs> what? Say and spell your first and last name. Okay. They call me Handman. Okay. All right. What's your, what's your, what's your real name? Ozel Gary. Okay, will you spell your first real name? Huh? Spell your first last name. First you can't name. read. My <laughs> name is Ozel Gary. Okay. <laughs> The fact that he said you can't read, <laughs> you just said it. You didn't write it. <laughs> he said you can't read. Oh my god, bro. Oh man. Huh? Spell your first last name. First you can't read. <laughs> my name Ozell Gary. Okay. Well, I need to know how to spell it. Well, I just letting you know. I'm down here from Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Sweet. I born and raised him. Okay. I lived here 33 years. I thought they might would change, but I see it ain't changing okay. no more. Can, can I get you to spell your name for me, please? O Z E W. -A, I just told you. <laughs> he said, I just told you. He said, I just told you. O Z E W. -A. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I love uh, actually videos like that, man. If there's more videos with like new stuff, just, just funny stuff, man, so we can just have a good laugh. Put in the comment section below, man. That was a great video. That was actually hilarious. But the kid that told that dude, like, yo, Lester's on TV more than you, and then walked away, and the reporter just looked at him like, you might be right. I'm going to have to change my career or talk to the bosses. That was hilarious, man. But also, that kid was kind of sketchy, man. <laughs> he said, aren't you the weatherman or something like that? <laughs> he kind of looked weird, too, man. Anyways, if there's more stuff like this, put in the comment section below, man. Keep your head up. Love y'all. Till next time. Peace. My name's Gary.